Welcome! We're so happy you're interested in living on campus at the University of Maryland. My friends and I would like to show you what it's like to live in a residence hall. Let's take a look! Elfton Hall is right across the street from the Shuttle UM stop. But students can also use Night Ride, which runs from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. Elkton Hall is close to the 251 Dining Hall and the Ellicott Diner. Behind Elkton Hall, there is plenty of outdoor seating and open spaces for students to study, relax, and enjoy the nice weather. So I'm going to use my UID to swipe into the building. We have a triple barrier system for student safety and security. We swipe into the building, swipe into the elevator, and use our keys to get into our residence hall rooms. Let's head inside. So now we are in the building. The desk is available to residents 24-7. There's always an RA on call in the evenings and on weekends, just in case. And our facility staff are available to manage any maintenance work students need. ResLife also employs students in a variety of different roles, such as office assistants, community assistants, and event planning. You can also get involved in ResLife with Hall Council and the Residence Hall Association. Elkton Hall also has its own laundry facility. Students can reserve a machine through the turf wash system. Elkton Hall also has a variety of options for individual and group study. The lounges can act as a study space or a place to socialize and connect with others. Each Elkton Hall floor lounge has a microwave, a sink, counter space, a fridge, tables, chairs, and lounge seating for all residents to use. RAs also host plenty of events in the lounges for students to get to know each other and make some new friends. This is Cumberland Hall, and it acts as a community service desk for Cambridge community. Let's go right in. So this is the service desk, and this is the community assistant, Hi. Talia. Hi, so basically at the service desk, um, we um, hand out spare keys, packages, swipes, and anything like that. Um, we can give residents phone numbers um, for, for work, and we can let them know that their RAs are always available. So basically, they just come here for anything they need in the community, and we're happy to help them. Thank you. Hi, I'm here to pick up a package. Okay, thank you. thank you so much. Hello, my name is Marishka and I'm a freshman at the University of Maryland and today I'll be showing you guys a room tour. You guys can come on in. So, I live with my roommate Vanessa. Right now she's at um, in class, so I'll just be doing the tour by myself. So, as you walk in, the first thing you'll see is my pegboard. And here's where I keep all my important stuff, such as my keys, and I just hook it right here. We have our mask and then like hand sanitizer, anything you just need on the go. Also umbrellas in case like it's raining. And we also make sure to keep like memories of our friends and just like cute pictures on there. So as you move on, we have a Swiffer and like the trash can. I just recommend getting a bigger one because you just want to limit the trips back and forth to the dumpster. Also, we have our fridge. Another thing about this fridge is you c we bought this one, but most of the time you can rent one with the university. And we just make sure, we just keep snacks here and then we keep teas, anything we just like want to eat in case we just don't want to go to the diner. So here's my closet and the thing is the, f the dressers are given to us by the university. Usually they're placed inside the rooms, but we placed it in our closets to utilize our space more. The first, like the top shelf, we put things like cleaning supplies or like extra supplies overall. And the bottom shelf, we have our necessities and toiletries. Now we'll move on to my roommate's desk. So another thing about our room is she likes green more and my favorite color is pink. So there's like a little separation there in like our themes. So her desk has a lot of green in it and it just has a lamp and just like essentials for school. 
another thing we have that we both like share is this music player where we listen to our music we like to collect cds and albums so we just like that's how we bond a lot of times just listening to music okay so here's my roommate's side and for her side she's a little more minimalist so she has like clean line art and she likes green so like again it corresponds with her forest like theme and yeah it's pretty simple and it's, it's just cute and green okay moving on to my face section of the room and that's because it just has a cute view and usually there's like a really nice sunset from our window the first thing we have on here is a diffuser it and we have a couple essential oils that's just to make the room smell nice and it's just like a nice vibe to it then we have the dehumidifier which was given to us by the university and that's because usually in the summer it gets pretty humid so it's just to keep um, students comfortable and there's also an ac unit here that we have again by the university moving on we go to my bed so here i have a lot of stuffed animals and it's pink i used to have more pink but i just toned it down a little bit i have stuffed animals that were given to me by friends and family and it just like reminds me of them and keeps me comfortable at night and both of us actually have neutral like um bed bed sheets and that's just to like keep it like looking nice and clean i also have a little like greenery thing going on i added on uh, like i added more like flowers to it just to hang i plan on adding more eventually along with posters and i do art as well so i have some of my paintings and a cool thing about them is since we have led stri like strips going along the walls at night they like tend to like glow different colors when we have it on so that's another cool touch and i also have my blankets very nice and fuzzy and some blankets from my country that like my grandma gave me and it just reminds me of her so i just have it there along with everything else so now here's my desk it's a lot of pink and purple which are my favorite colors and here i just have a lot of stationery i like to like bullet journal and just i like cutesy little like um knickknacks and stuff so i have my stickers and then a bunch of colored pencils and highlighters and i just keep a lot of my school supplies and my albums on this side here as well so another thing um that the university university like provided us with was the chair the desk and the shelf my roommate doesn't have it because she just doesn't want to so she just puts it away underneath her bed but i wanted to keep it in order to like store more things so that's what I did and on top I just have this little section with my mirror and then like more plants and my favorite is this little jewelry thing where I just keep my jewelry and it's a heart and I think it's really cute okay that's it with my room tour and I really hope you guys liked it and I also hope you guys enjoy the University of Maryland thank you for joining me bye I'm Sarah and I'm Ashley and we're gonna show you our favorite spots to study on campus let's go Hornbeak Library and this is Hornbeak Plaza, the best outdoor study space on campus. If you need a place to come and study between classes, come to HJP for its central location, great seating, and noodle bar. Hey. But my absolute favorite place to study on campus is ESJ. On the second floor, you can sit next to these gorgeous tall windows and study to your heart's content. But at the end of the day, the best place to study is in your residence hall's floor lounges. Come on! Hey Patrick, how's it going? Great! I'm Patrick, using one of these. Time to Star Wars! Alright, Captain! There's a resident assistant located on each floor and serves as a resource for students. They plan events to get students connected with each other and direct you to events on campus. The RA is also there if you have any problems with your roommate or getting adjusted to college. They're really there just to make sure you have the best experience possible as a perp. Never hesitate to reach out to your RA because they'll always be there for you. There are lots of different housing options available. Let's take a look at the different types. 